Okay, in this question we're going to look at another absolute value sign. Um, again, I'll do it both methods. This one you'll notice has a 2 in front of the x. And uh, so the first thing I do is I divide everything by 2. And I'm going to say the absolute value of x minus 3 over 2 greater than or equal to 5 over 2. Okay, now I'll do what I did before. I'm going to take the opposite of that, that's really important to remember, and draw an arrow down there and find out what's 5 over 2 away from 3 over 2. Okay, so there is 0, and there is 1, there is 2, there is 3, negative 1, negative 2, etc. Okay. Now, 3 over 2 is right in here, equal to 1 and a half. So I put a dot above there, and then I'm going up this way, 5 over 2, and down this way, 5 over 2. Okay, so if I go up 2 and a half, I'm going to get right up here to 4. And if I get down two and a half, there's down a half, one, two, I'm going to get to negative one. Now this time, I'm going to fill these circles in, because the original question said, right here, equal. So greater than or equal to. Okay. So those are the numbers that are exactly five over two away from three over two. Because it says greater than, I'm going to say which numbers are farther away than 5 over 2 is away. So it's these numbers out here and these numbers out here. They're farther away. So now I can write my final answer. Any x less than or equal to negative 1 for any x that is greater than or equal to positive 4. Put any of those numbers into my original equation and it will be a true equation. Okay, let's try it using the definition method. The left hand side has the absolute value, so according to the definition it either uh, the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is either equal to 2x minus 3 or it's equal to the opposite of 2x minus 3. So we get two little equations there. Okay, this one, take 3 to the other side and add it. We get 2x greater than or equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2 and x greater than or equal to 4 is one of our answers. Here the opposite means you take the opposite of 2x and the opposite of negative 3 which is positive 3. Take the 3 to the other side and it becomes subtract. And we're at that point. But I don't want it solved for negative 2. I'd like it solved for just x. So x has been multiplied by negative 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. And again, because I've multiplied or divided by a negative number, I've got to switch that sign around. These guys will cancel and leave me with an x. And over here I'll get a negative 1. Okay. So there are my two answers, and compare this to what I got over there, and you'll see it's exactly the same. 